Hey there, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind & Sun. Today I have in-phase microinverters to talk about. So a microinverter is often used when you're doing a grid tie solution. A grid tie system is a solar array that's offsetting immediately your electrical use and any additional electricity that's produced or power can backfeed your meter and go into the grid. So these are microinverters basically they get bolted underneath the modules up on the array which is basically up on the roof the panels will plug in using the mc4 connections here it'll plug in to the microinverter and that'll provide the dc input to the microinverter each microinverter in this particular case with the in-phase microinverters each microinverter goes with you know one microinverter per panel so if you have 10 panels you need 10 microinverters each panel connects to the microinverter and then there's a trunk cable that connects all the microinverters together that then gets wired essentially back to your main electric panel and these will provide power back to the main electric panel from the modules themselves. These are inverting directly from the solar panels and providing AC power 240 volts directly to the electrical load center. There's items that you can put in between, junction boxes or whatnot. What's really cool about microinverters like this one, you can treat the output wiring on them a lot like regular AC electrical wiring. So it's not over complicated like a high voltage DC string inverter would be. Now you don't have to worry about rapid shutdown because inherently this is built into the product. You just treat the output of this like a regular AC circuit and you can run that appropriately through the attic or whatever without any special consideration for high voltage DC and you know various other aspects that you have to consider for a string inverter system. These can also be AC coupled into off-grid applications while that's less conventional it's an option so they're a pretty diverse product as far as their use but most commonly you're gonna use this for a grid tie solution. Each inverter will output around 290 watts. So this is the in-phase IQ7 Plus. Uh, it does about 290 watts. It's about 1.2 amps at 240 volts. And the AC wiring on the trunk cable is 12 gauge. So you can put 13 of these on one home run. So a maximum of 13 on one 20 amp circuit. So this is the AC combiner for the microinverters. Each of these microinverters will be ran back on a home run using the trunk cable. And usually you'll run that into the AC combiner, the IQ uh, combiner. And this can hold up to four 20 amp circuits. This has the Envoy built into it and the Envoy can be used to do uh, full monitoring of the system. So you'll be able to monitor each of the microinverters individually and thus the performance from each of the modules. What's really cool about microinverters is you can see what each individual module is doing and each one of these is optimizing or tracking that module's performance individually. So if there's shading or inconsistent output the modules don't affect one another because each of these microinverters is contributing individually. It's got room for the breakers. It's got a disconnect for the envoy. You wire the output of this to your load center. The wiring size, the disconnect size, and breaker and tie-in is gonna depend on how big your overall grid tie system is. Uh, but this is a pretty versatile solution. Covers up to 80 amps. So these two things go together as well as the trunk cable and terminators and several other things. If you want some help or assistance putting something like this together, our team can custom design a grid tie solution using the in-phase microinverters and the AC combiner with the Envoy. Um, or you can check out our website. We have quite a few pre-assembled kits with a variety of different sizes. Uh, array configurations you can kind of pick a system from there if you have any questions give us a call we're happy to put something together for you you can leave a comment down below try to answer that so let us know thank you thank you for watching our video if you enjoyed it please like subscribe and comment